Tyrannosaurus rex reanimata is an eye-catching and popular species recently returned to the zoological scene by paleoscience. A difficult species to keep, it is possessed of a large size, great strength and all the intelligence of their modern relatives, parrots. The tyrannosaur, like many predators, divides its daily activity into feeding, grooming, sleeping and interacting with its kin. In a captive environment, humans are responsible for encouraging all of these activities and an unfortunate oversight in this species' reanimation and the use of amphibian DNA has denied them their feathers, so their innate grooming time has been substantially reduced. If psychological needs are not met, their parrot relatives are known to develop stereotypic behaviours, destructive behaviours and self-mutilate. Tyrannosaurs are unfortunately not as introspective as the modern parrot, perhaps because they have no feathers to pluck, and will divert their extra energy to destructive behaviour. To prevent a repeat of the park incident, it is critical to provide this six-ton reptile equipped with all the tenacity and curiosity of a six-year-old child with both physical and mental stimulation. The Tyrannosaur is an adept scavenger and will easily acclimatise itself to puzzle feeders. It is best to rotate through the available puzzles on a regular basis lest they become bored and design one of their own. Brightly coloured versions may be utilised for zoo visitor enjoyment without upsetting the dinosaur. It is critical that you select your puzzle feeder based on the Tyrannosaur anatomy. Feeders that rely on reaching into a confined space with forelegs are not appropriate and will only serve to frustrate the dinosaur. We do not want another repeat of the park incident. Custom-made Kongs from extra durable material are an excellent method for enrichment as they can be hidden throughout the environment or even suspended from vines. Wobblers require a lot of energy to use though can be frustrating until the Tyrannosaur learns to push it over instead of attempting to reach through the hole. A wobbler may be baited with novel or other dinosaur scents. Push toys are best utilised when you have open areas available or younger specimens, lest they rapidly become crush toys instead. A brief note about the feeding of Tyrannosaurs. Do not feed them mammalian meat. They have not evolved to be innately drawn to it, but will learn the scent and seek it out when bored or hungry, and you, you are made of mammalian meat. Training them in this way is most unwise. Providing enrichment toys not only improves the life of the Tyrannosaur, but also visitor viewing. Honestly, if you can't provide this basic level of husbandry, you deserve to be eaten in another park incident.